A golden delicious is what kind of fruit? Do you want to answer? God, I hope so. <laughs> Ian Thorpe is back, and tonight we get a glimpse of his time at school. I think I was eating glue. <laughs> and Australian Idol Sticko makes time to drop in. I'm too busy stomping on young dreams, right? Oh, OK, there is a game on. Plus, Dave Hughes takes our test. I think that's a there? body part, to be honest. Because it says what part of the body. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> what I've just said then makes me sound like an ass. <laughs> All that tonight on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grade? I've got half a million dollars to give away and all someone has to do is answer ten primary school questions. Come on, it's not rocket science. Oh, except for the questions on rocket science. The trickiest question on television, where do babies come from? <laughs> and also, are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> Tonight, uh, grown-ups could win a whole lot of cash and all they have to do is prove that they are smarter than tiny kitties, such as these. Please welcome Maddie, <laughs> Dylan, Liam, Oliver and Lily. <laughs> Ian Thorpe is back with us. Thank you very much for being here. Let's have a look. How you doing, buddy? Last week, Thorpey was slow off the blocks, using his peak and copy on his first two questions. So far, he's raised a thousand dollars for his charity, Fountain for Youth. Give him a gold medal! Give him a gold medal! And has eight subjects left on the board. All right, let's win some more money for your charity, but first, pick a new class, mate. <laughs> uh, Oliver, 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 it is. Why not? <laughs> Now, Oliver, you were marvelling at uh, Thorpey's scar. He's got a scar at the top of yeah, his head. Yeah, he's got a scar, like, before. right there. It's massive. You got any cool scars? Uh, I got this one. Uh-huh. Me and my brother were fighting over opening a door, and I just said, I just gave up, and the door slammed into my eye. Oh, right. Yeah. Was the door attached to anything, or you just saw it lying in the street, hard rubbish day, and yeah. you know how we all do, I need a door! <laughs> you got almost like a little Harry Potter scar, too. Yes. Yeah, it's like a little... If I do that, it kind of... Someone's up Voldemort, so let's yeah. not do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now on the board, we've still got plenty of subjects left. We're about to play for $3,000 for your charity. What do you like on the board, Oliver? Math! 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 Let's do um, fourth grade maths. Fourth grade maths, okay. <laughs> Which of the following is larger? 7 over 21 or 0. 0.36? Hmm. Do you think you know? Well, I thought things today. Oh, oh. Oliver's just locked in his answer. He's it's a, a maths question, confident. though. So you don't have any of your cheats left, which means no. you can only have a guess. And if you are wrong, hope that Oliver is right. 50-50 chance here. Hmm. Um, okay. I like the 21. 7 21s, you're gonna lock that in? 7 over 21 is the wrong answer. That's not, is it? 7 over 21 is 0. 0.333 something. Oh, something, I knew something. that too. I went for the small one. You did? <laughs> yes. Sure you did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What were you The larger bit. number. 0. 0.36 is the larger number. So now, Oliver? Yes? Let's hope you can save an Olympian. Yes. He has! <laughs> We have lost your save, we have lost your cheats, it's now up to you. How are you feeling at this point? I feel fantastic. <laughs> All right, we're about to play for $5,000 now for your charity. We've still got a few subjects left. There's health care. Plants, you like the idea of plants before? Um, third grade geography. Third grade world, world geography. geography. What name is given to an area of land where there is little rainfall and limited vegetation? Look, it's either arid or it's desert. OK. Um, what name is given to an area of land where there is little rainfall and limited vegetation? I think you're on the right track. I think it's a desert. OK, do you want to lock that in? Um, yeah. OK. Off we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of your misery. Thank you are correct! <laughs> 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 Alright, 
right, let's now turn your $5,000 into $10,000. Now we're going to get some nice money happening. Right. What have you like left on the board? Help! 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 Okay, if you like noisy minor birds, <laughs> the loudest one that screams, I'm going to listen to you or whatever you say. So because what did you say? Help. Help. That wasn't very loud. Um, <laughs> first grade health then. Yes. <laughs> learned a little bit of health in your time, surely? I don't know if I did in first grade. I think I was eating glue. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy glue, I'm sure. All right, here we go. For $10,000 first grade health, a golden delicious is what kind of fruit? Can I answer? God, I hope so. <laughs> it's an apple. You want to lock that in? Yeah. <laughs> it's first grade. You're right now, we're cooking. <laughs> All right, well, we've got some stuff up there. Well, I'm doing plants. I'm sorry, sorry, guys. Third I'm doing plants. plants. I think it's the only okay. one I know. This is now for $20,000. Let's double your money. Which garden flower that grows from a bulb do we especially associate with the Netherlands? I can answer, yeah. I don't have to read it twice, do I? Yeah. Okay, you're going to lock it in? Yeah. Now, remembering, at this point... Before we get too eager, if you are wrong, you are going home with nothing. I know. You do have $10,000 that you can take right now, but if you are confident, by all means, let's double it to 20. Um, we associate tulips, the Netherlands. Yes, we do. That's interesting, because your classmates have a very interesting answer. This is the correct answer. Tulips! Oh. Take a break and the network's amazing.